you want to learn how to make a hamper like this one, just keep watching. Hi guys, hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm first of all I just wanna say I'm really sorry I'm in my pajamas. Um I'm turning into a real YouTuber now. I wasn't actually gonna film a video on this. But I've started putting it all together and it just looks so good. I can't waste the opportunity of not sharing this with you as there may be somebody who is looking for ideas on this and they don't know where to start. So Let's get into the video. I'm going to show you how to make a DIY hamper for a baby shower or for a baby gift. And just all the essentials that I picked up along the way for my friend. I to make a hamper for Hannah. Just basically because it would be an ideal starter box for them to help them out with things that they might have forgotten. I'm sure they haven't but just in case. I thought this was really cute and it looks like a really really nice gift. So this is how it's going to be presented. I have got cellophane and everything in a bowl which I'm going to put on it now which I will share with you but I just thought I'd show you first because I'm actually going to take the contents out and show you how to put it all and prepare it all ready to display it really nicely. I'm just going to get straight into the video now and I hope you enjoy. I literally just picked up this storage box. Now you can pick these up or you could pick up a nice wicker basket or if you've got something that you could reuse at home this wouldn't even have to cost anything. But I picked this box up and it was from Poundland and it was literally £1. So this is a great little box. It's a really good size for a hamper. Actually display things nicely as they're coming out of the hamper. You don't want to place them inside. So in order to build this up what I have actually used is well, I picked up these little disposable bed pads. Now People might just think that these are used for potty training, which they are great for potty training, but they're not just used for that. They get leakages with the nappies and things like that if they've drunk quite a bit through the day or you've just not very got, got a good brand of nappies. Sometimes it takes a while to work out which brand of nappies work for you. So I suggest putting these down all the time underneath your bed sheet your child's cot, your, the cot mattress, just to keep your mattresses nice and clean um, and hygienic really. So again, I picked these up from Poundland and these were a pound too. So I'm just going to place them into the base of the box. So already that has bucked it up about that much. Jumbo size pack of firstborn nappies these are asked as little angels if you haven't used them i suggest you do i've tried every brand of nappies and i find these the ultimate best i never have a leakage sometimes my children can sleep 12 hours through in the night and i still don't have a leakage and if i take them out for days out when when they're wearing these nappies i don't have to rush and worry too much about them leaking because i know it's not going to happen if you because i didn't think the pack would fit in the box but the pack actually fits in the box so amazing so i'm just going to layer that one in and push it down and as you can see that fits nice and snug as well it is to be like a nice cushion top and i didn't want anything showing through I actually picked up this neutral blanket. Originally, I didn't know Penny was going to be a girl, and neither did mum and dad. A few things I knew, which are gender neutral, that I picked up before. But Penny's actually come five weeks early. Well, to Auntie Zara to go and buy some little pink things. So That's why now this hamper has actually turned from a gender neutral hamper into a pretty girly hamper all these things could be really cheap and affordable it's up to you how much you want to spend and what you want to put into the box so literally once i've placed that in you can see what it looks like now i'm almost at the top of the box which is what i wanted so now i'm just going to start positioning in the things that i've bought and i will show you what i've bought as well so i literally just picked up this premium bottle brush it's the two ended ones this would be really handy for you like it doesn't have to be expensive you can go to poundland pick up all the baby bits you can go to dollar tree if you're in america or something like that i'm sure they have great baby essentials too so i'm literally just now going to start placing all these things in the box so i'm going to place that one in there then I picked up this little uh, baby travel changing mat. They're a great thing to have. So I'm just going to, so I just bought one of these for them as well. So I'm going to pop that in there. This is from Home Bargains. It was like £4. I'm going to place that in the middle. The bottle changer, uh, the bottle brush was a pound from Poundland as well. Then I picked up Bonnie Baby grooming kit it's just got like the little brushes the little combs the little clippers that you need and the little scissors for their fingernails and things like that i'm gonna pop that in there 
red you can see guys it's starting to look a little bit like this and that's what i want i placed these little hats that i bought for baby penny then it's just like a little strawberry one and a little striped one these were from next i'm gonna place these over the top for there and i'm gonna place them over the top for there I'm just going to start placing all the other bits in. I bought these snuggle down super soft cloths. I thought these would be really nice when it comes to bath time and things like that. And I want this to like be like the centerpiece because I think it would look really nice. So I'm going to place this um, just literally over the hats. So he can stay in the middle like that. I've also got this little prin little princess sleeps here sign. I'm going to place that behind here like so like so it's just about playing around guys and seeing what looks better but wet wipes johnson's just good to have always going to be buying these they're going to be buying these for the next few years so one little pack will come in handy i'm sure i'm going to place that in the front for there and i bought um a johnson's baby oil nice to keep their skin nice and lovely and soft I bought Johnson's baby powder, can't go wrong, the smell is absolutely gorgeous, so I popped that in there. also picked up then the babe Johnson's baby lotion, there's a theme going on here guys as you can see, but they're just absolutely lovely things to have. Maybe I'm going to pop these in the middle over there, actually, and then I'll pop these either side, one over there one by there you can see how it's coming now guys this little baby llama look at that it's like just a little pram ring or she can use it on the car seat or something like that and this was so cute look i think she's gonna love this just little rattle and place him by there i also then got this little berry cute little vest um, it's just a little baby vest that I picked up and I'm going to pop this over the front. So I'm hoping you, you're going to be able to see the coat like so. The mitten set with um, little hats and mittens. Obviously, I thought some of these would come in use before she had, well, when she was in the hospital with the baby. But obviously, Penny had other ideas, which is fine. We can't wait to see her. Then I bought um, a Johnson's baby bath. I picked up some baby paracetamol. They could, this can be used from two months and she's going to need this for when she has her first jabs and things like that and it comes around before you know it. So just in case, and this is always handy to have in your house anyway because you go through bottles of this as they start getting older and getting viruses and catching everything and getting fevers galore. I also picked up some Snuffle Baby again because I know how quick they pick up colds and things. This is just really good if you rub it on the bottoms of their feet and pop their socks on. So that's why I picked up that. I just picked up some Sudo Cream which is nappy cream for nappy happy rash um, this is the can protect one that can be used every day to try and create a barrier so they don't get nappy rash so I picked up that as well because obviously I think this is a really good staple to have also last gift I'm gonna put in is a, the original baby cards these were the these are the milestone baby cards and they go up to one year I use these with both mine and they're lovely just to create memories and lovely cute little photos so i bought these for them as well because hannah's very quite sentimental and things like that and i'm sure she's gonna have lots of things like this for her for penny i'm gonna pop these in the front for there and there you have it guys that's how i've designed the basket well the hamper should we say and now i'm just gonna literally do the hard part now of trying to wrap it all up this might take a while Got this iridescent paper um, cellophane from work. Now I did order one, but it wasn't going to come back in time after Penny was arrived early. It didn't come back in time, so I asked my boss kindly, could I borrow some of this? And she said, yeah, of course you can. You can pick this up from like anywhere online. Now, the cheapest places are like um ebay amazon things like that but you can pick them up from craft stores like hobby craft and everything but they are a little bit more expensive now i did buy a hamper kit from poundland which was a pound which is lovely but the cellophane was too small for this basket uh, for this hamper i'll only do like a little wicker basket but that'll come in handy again mm -hmm. so i'm going to use this iridescent cellophane and i'm going to try my best to get it looking as good as i can set this in the floor first Obviously, I'm going to need to cover the whole box. So, put 
going to this here maybe. Make sure that I've got enough. Um, scrunch, which I have, as you can see. Yeah, like that. Need the same the other side. I'm, gonna need, I'm just going to start taping down the sides just to make it look a little bit neater. Just literally now, like on the sides, just like wrapping up forever. As neat as you can. is quite fiddly guys so take your time with it one side done so i'm now going to turn it and do the other now i've lost my salad tip start don't you just love it when that happens right so that's both sides done now guys so this is literally doing the top you want to just bring it in, get it as nice as you can. Like so, I might need to set a tape back down over there. Make this quite pretty, play it down with it. And then I've literally bought a bow and I'm going to show you how to put it on. It is broken. I'm going to have to kind of do a DIY, I think. So I'm just going to have to change this into a DIY instead. So this is a bit of an epic fail. But of course it'd be a fail. I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm just going to turn it into a bow instead and wrap it like an old traditional one. And there you have it, guys. I've actually got some of these as well. So I might do these, try these round. Sometimes, see, it just works out better when you do it yourself. Instead of these ready-made ones. I could have just got some ribbon from work. I probably should have. It would have been a bit more of a um, matching pink. I just want some now for the other side. And there you have it, guys. I'm literally just going to... Um, it up the sides as well just to give it a little bit, bit more added support so this is the hamper guys finished i'm really happy with the finished result i think it looks really nice and she wouldn't really know i've done it as affordable or as expensive as you wish and it cut is a really nice personal um gift that you've done for you've done yourself and i'm sure that it would be really appreciated by whoever receives it so i hope you enjoyed this video guys i hope you found it useful give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment and like and join my team if you want more useful videos and i'll see you again soon in another video bye guys